Yo! My name is Powder, and I am not allowed on the internet. But today, here I am as your best booster machine for Tin Tuesday! Today's Tin Tuesday is honestly not even about the tin, so I just picked up any Shining Fates tin. It's about this right here. We're gonna open up a Marnie milk carton today. But first, of course, we go to the tin. Okay, so just a normal, um, we just got a normal, uh, Shining Fates tin, you know, the usual Eldegoss shiny promo six packs coming out of there. Last week, we pulled the Shining Fates Charizard. I don't know if you guys were here for that, but we did. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing, honestly speaking. Oh, wait, is this a tin top? What should I do with this? <gasps> Throw it. Woo! Okay, cool. Uh, let's open these real quickly. I also grabbed a Chilling Rain build in Battle Box because I feel like I want to open more Chilling Rain up. Uh, I have a giant case of Chilling Rain coming. A uh, Literally, when I mean giant, I mean giant. But uh, code card for you, code card for me, code card for everybody. But yeah, I have six booster boxes coming because it was a wave. Uh, I have a wave two case coming. So I was pretty excited about that. Um, I'm glad that the prices of Pokemon is kind of back to normal and... It seems there's a decent amount of things being printed. I screwed that up, but oh, woo, woo, full art Rillaboom V. Oh my God, I will take it. Dude, very first pack. Are we about to have a cracked tin again? Pretty sick. I actually screwed that one up. I almost screwed up the, I almost screwed up the Charizard last week too, because I was like, uh, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. What do I even say? It doesn't matter. Eldegoss, Grossifleur, Snom, Trapinch, Nicket. I am trying to fill, uh, finish my Shining Fates. Oh, Ditto VMAX! Let's go! Oh, woo, woo! Second pack! Second pack, we just pulled a Ditto VMAX? Is this one of those tins that's just gonna be crack? I think so. So the thing is, I have this theory that, um, I have this theory that the first wave of Pokemon, like anytime the first wave comes out, it's always like usually the best rates, especially in these special sets. And then later on, they kind of just go whatever rates, but yeah, but I I'm just glad to be pulling this stuff because Shining Fates is, um, it is a little more scarce than it was say two, three months ago, Yanma, but uh, oh, Galarian Farfetch Shiny! Oh my god, three packs, three hits. Oh, woo woo! We are cracking the packins, baby. Let me tell you, if you're not pulling anything, you gotta pack it up, dog. And you know what I gotta do? Nothing. Let me tell you why. Oh, woo woo! I am the best booster machine. All right, ball guy. I still do I still have yet to pull full art ball guy. That would be amazing to pull a full art ball guy. But yeah, I'm trying to finish uh, Shining Fates, uh, the master set, so it's pretty good to be getting some of these cards. Cramorant V, that counts, that's a hit. It's not a hit that I want or care for, but it's a hit and it counts, either way. But yeah, my point being is I gotta finish this set, man. It's, it's, I, I've, been, I've been putting it aside. Really, I really am opening, I really try to open Shining Fates for the camera. I don't really open Shining Fates much for myself. I, when I'm when I'm opening with my brothers or something, it's usually a booster box. It's not Shining Fates. It depends on what I can open and how easily I can obtain the item. Booster boxes are a little more easier to get Trap Pinch and a Dreadnought first pack without anything in it. Uh, booster boxes are a little easier to get for something like Battle Styles, which I like. Uh, which I actually like opening because I haven't pulled the Alt Arts for myself. I did pull one for a YouTube member. What is this card? What is it doing here? Zerud? Okay, very rude of you to be sitting in the camera frame, buddy. One, two, three, four. Give me one more. Shiny. I will take anything. Uh, anything that can uh, help fill my collection. Uh, I don't, I have yet to pull Chairman Rose in this, in this set. That would be really cool. One of my favorite characters ever. 
Snom, and a Frostmoth Holographic. So, nothing crazy. That's about it for the teams. All right, now this is what we're actually here for. Let me move you guys to the side over here real quickly. This is what we're here for. The Marnie, the Marnie, this thing is really cool. So what it contains inside is it contains a uh, two Marnie cards that were not released in America until this box, you know? And the way it works is uh, it comes with a coin. So you get a Marnie coin, really cool. It's pretty much a collector's item. And it comes with a full art Marnie. This was in Shiny Star V, which was Shining Fates. But uh, it comes with a couple other cards behind it. So I'll open that up right here, actually. I want—I would love to keep one of these sealed. But So I bought a sealed case of these to keep for myself. So Marnie right here. And this right here is a beautiful card. It is a Marnie. Um, it's a Mar here code card. You guys can have that. Enjoy. Okay. It's a signed card. It's a Marnie signed card. And in the in Japan, they actually have we actually I have the Japanese version of that sealed. But in Japan, they also have. Um, so, oh, I just moved that camera. Oops. Okay. So we get our little stuff here. It's a Marnie tournament box. This is really cool. So it's a box about Marnie. Uh, it's a really nice thing. It's autograph. It comes with the autographed hollow. Uh, something like this in PSA 10 eventually will be worth a lot of money. I promise you. And this card eventually in PSA 10 will also be worth a lot of money. Also, if you're planning on doing a full art collection like I am, an English full art collection, yes, that card counts. You have to get it. But it also comes with some dice and a bunch of packs, including a deck case, if I'm not mistaken where the packs are hitting is sitting in so this is honestly in terms of collector's item this is so worth it you should totally buy this it goes for about 30 35 dollars resale probably a little bit more but it has some chilling rain battle styles vivid voltage darkness of blaze so let's just go ahead and open some of this up and yeah uh honestly speaking so the point behind this this was like it's kind of like just a promo box it's like it's a, it's a special box that they released for uh um, in america because those two cards are available in in japanese but not in american until now and uh now not in well, english not american because uk also is getting them um sorry oh celebi in our very first pack from vivid voltage Oh, woo, woo what a pack. I will take it. Awesome. I was not expecting that. Can we pull a Charizard this week? Can we pull a Charizard this week? Yes, we can. Maybe. Well, I don't know. Who knows? There you guys go. Check that out. There's your code card. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's go. But yeah, so they it, it was, uh, there is a Japanese box, but there's one that also contains bead and hop, an autograph bead and hop. So that's pretty cool too. I'm surprised that they didn't actually have that. Dracovish holographics and battle styles right here. Let's open up some battle styles. Let's open up some battle styles real quickly. I would love me something amazing from battle styles. A alternate art would be the, uh, you know, the greatest. I'll also take a full art trainer. Any full art trainer I can pull, I will pull. I'm really trying to uh, get, get a full art trainer collection going. I don't have many at the moment. Not that I don't have many. I don't have them all organized at the moment. I do have a couple dupes here and there. And uh, a friend of mine, Carson, who's a avid watcher of the of the channel, asked if I had any for sale. And unfortunately, it's not that I don't have any for sale. It's just since nothing is organized in my home at the moment, in my card collection, it's uh, I don't have any way of selling anything. Otherwise, I 10,000% would sell or give away some stuff. And Santa Conda. What do we got left? We got some Chilling Rain? Oh, we got some Chilling Rain left over. All right, cool. So Chilling Rain has some pretty solid pulls too. I've pulled Melanie and I've pulled Caitlyn from this set in terms of the full arts. But I have yet to pull a alternate art from this set. I would love to pull the alternate art Moltres, which is going for like... It's going for like $120, $130. That card is crazy. Adding that to my collection would be insanity. But, but yeah, honestly speaking, end all be all, 
um this marnie box is worth it it comes with seven packs right so 35 dollars is not bad and um also the little things that come with it are really good first off you get a full art marnie that's playable right uh it's it's a marnie it's a, it's called it's it's a different artwork than her regular full art from sword and shield so that's pretty cool and a zapdos v unfortunately that is a card i've pulled already i would love that zapdos alternate art too i love zapdos zapdos is my favorite of the bird trio even in even the new bird trio even the galarian bird trio zapdos is still my favorite of the galarian uh, of the bird trios so so yeah let's see dino tree hill justified glove there's a lot of gloves man why are there so many gloves what's good what's up with the gloves snover larvesta and a bonnet all right so uh that's about it for the marnie box i do have a chilling rain box but check this out um this is really cool get yourself one of these boxes please do you'll have a lot of fun opening it also keep one sealed trust me keep one sealed it'll be definitely worth the time uh and money eventually and for 35 bucks it's not that bad of a sealed investment it's actually cheaper than a ETB, um, which we all know are definitely worth holding if you have the funds to get an ETB. All right, give me Inteleon. Give me Inteleon. It's not Inteleon. It's Cresselia. It's Cresselia. I've pulled this card like 70,000 times, dude. 70,000 times I've pulled that card. All right, Chilling Rain. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Chilling Rain. Some more. Uh, four more packs of Chilling Rain right here. I'm going to be opening a lot more Chilling Rain soon when I get that case of boosty boxes in. That'll be a lot of fun. Uh, I can't wait to do that. All right. I think I spoiled myself here. I think I saw something at the very end. Please give me something good. Come on. Come on. Please. Venipede. Lapras. Viper, And a Metagross V. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Metagross is in this set. If I'm not mistaken, there's a Rainbow Rare Metagross somewhere in this. I think I've pulled the Rainbow Rare. Not the Rainbow Rare. I've pulled the... I've pulled something from for Metagross. I pulled the VMAX for sure. I, I pulled the VMAX for sure. I'm sad that there's not an alternate art Metagross. That would be... Uh, I'd lose it. You guys don't understand. Metagross is probably my favorite pseudo-legendary Pokemon. Crab Brawler. Chest Plate. And a Hatterene, which I don't care to see anymore after Champion's Pack. Alrighty. One, two, three, four. Let's see. Dark Energy, Caitlyn. Lucky Energy. Rockaruff, Swirlix, Lapras, Deerling, Slowpoke, Honey, I'm Home. And an Obama Snow. Okay. Well, last pack luck. Do we have our last pack luck today? Open an awesome Marnie box. Got some pretty solid pulls today. Shining Fates was really nice to us. And we got a, a Amazing Rare Celebi, which honestly is worth getting. Trust me. Those cards are going to be worth getting. Amazing Rares, once again, I've talked about how they just stopped showing up. Uh, and they, they stopped making Amazing Rares. And I think they're totally worth the time. And I'm really sad that they stopped making them. But... They're worth getting. All right. Pasimian is how I end this Tin Tuesday. Thank you so much for showing up. You guys are amazing. Please do leave a like, comment below if you haven't already. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, my Twitter, my TikTok, everywhere. Follow me and join the Discord in the description below. You guys are amazing people and you are so kind to constantly show me support. Leave a comment. But that's really all I have to say. Thank you so much. Bye!